Hello and welcome to Cloud Computing. Now, what Cloud Computing is, is essentially the delivery of computing services like servers and storage, uh, databases and networking and things over the internet in order to provide faster innovation, more flexible resources and economies of scale. Now, you'll typically only pay for the cloud services that you use, which means this will help you lower your operating costs. It'll help you uh, run your infrastructure more efficiently, and it allows you to scale out as your uh, needs change. Cloud computing, uh, as you could probably tell, is a, a shift from the traditional way businesses think about IT. Organizations will typically move to the cloud for several different reasons. Uh, maybe cost or improve scalability, increase productivity, better performance, uh, reliability, and improved security. What cloud computing does is it eliminates the capital expense of buying hardware and software and then setting up physical uh, on-site data centers. For example, it eliminates the need for racks, servers, electricity, cooling, all that stuff that is associated typically with an on-prem data center. Since most cloud computing services are uh, provided in a self-service manner and on demand, even if you need lots and lots and lots of uh, computing resources, they can be provisioned typically in minutes and usually with just a few mouse clicks. That being the case, businesses get flexibility uh, when they have to uh, plan for capacity. Now, as I mentioned, organizations uh, move to the cloud because of scalability. Now, what this means is organizations, when they move to the cloud, uh, they can uh, get that ability to scale elastically. In other words, what that means is they can uh, deliver the IT resources that they need in just the right amount. So, for example, if an organization needs uh, more, uh, you know, uh, compute power or storage or bandwidth, they can deploy that when they need it. And they can do it right from the correct geographical location where it's needed. And because on-site data centers usually require the whole racking and stacking thing, you know, the, the setup of the hardware, uh, patching software, all those uh, time-consuming IT management tasks that have to be completed, what cloud computing does is remove the need for many of these tasks. This means that the IT teams can spend their time on uh, helping accomplish business goals rather than doing these uh, manual tasks. And then the biggest cloud computing uh, services actually run on a worldwide network of secure data centers. These uh, large computing services include things like Azure, AWS, uh, Google Cloud, all the, the, the big players. Now, they run on these uh, secure data centers, and these secure data centers are uh, regularly upgraded to the latest generation and fastest and most efficient uh, computing hardware. As you would expect, this is a huge benefit over a single corporate data center because typically the organization would have to handle all of this stuff to keep things up to date. But another benefit of the uh, cloud performance is that you get typically a reduced network latency for applications and you get a, a greater economies of scale. And as one would expect, uh, cloud computing makes it easier uh, for backups, uh, for disaster recovery, and for business continuity. And it also makes it less expensive because the data for the organization can be mirrored to multiple redundant sites on the uh, provider's network, in this case, Azure. And then of course, cloud providers like Azure uh, offer all kinds of policies and technologies uh, that help you strengthen your overall uh, security posture, which means you can better protect your data, apps, and infrastructure from potential threats. So my exam tip for this uh, lecture here is that uh, Cloud computing is the delivery of computing services over the internet to provide faster innovation, flexible resources, and economies of scale. When you use cloud computing, you're typically only going to pay for the cloud services that you use. Be sure to keep this in mind and be sure to remember some of the key benefits that we've reviewed in this lesson. And you should be good to go with any exam questions that crop up on this topic.